this session we will see the numerical based on mean deviation through mean of group data so here you see find the mean deviation from mean of the uh, uh, for the following data uh, the class interval is given here uh, 0 to 10 10 to 20 20 to 30 30 to 40 40 to 50 is given and the frequency is given here 5 8 15 16 6 these have been given so we have to find out the mean deviation you see here the formula for mean deviation uh, here you see uh, delta x bar is the mean deviation through mean is equal to summation of f mod of x minus x bar uh, over summation of f this would be the formula so for this we have to find out first of all x minus x bar the in this formula you will you can see x bar is compulsory to find out so first of all we would find out the x bar for x bar we need the mid value of this class interval uh, which uh, we will get through I explain you here <coughs> uh, 0 plus 10 divided by 2 is equal to 5 here you see uh, we could get the mean uh, mid value through this way or I will explain you some other way also so it will be 30 by 2 is 15 so you see the class difference is class width is same in all the class intervals so the class width is 10 10 minus 0 10 so we have first we have find out the first uh, mid value then add 10 to each mid value we will get the succeeding mid values so here we will get 25 here we will get uh, 35 here we get 45 these are the mid values now what we have to do we have to find out f into x fx so 5 into 5 25 15 into 8 130 sorry 120 25 into 15 375 35 into 16 560 45 into 6 270 okay so this we have got here now uh, what we have to do we have to first find out the x bar Just I calculate this. Okay, I need one thousand three hundred fifty. This we have got here. Now summation of we will get here five eight thirteen or fifteen twenty eight twenty eight and sixteen twenty four forty four six fifty. So it is fifty now. We have okay. So first we find out this uh, mean uh, because x bar is equal to summation of fx over summation of f. This is the formula for mean in discrete data. So x bar summation of fx we have here uh, 1350 and summation of f is 50 so we will get 27 so we have got 27 as mean for this data this 27 it is the x bar so what we have to do x minus x bar x is here we have to subtract 27 from this so 5 minus 27 <coughs> 5 minus 27 minus 22 15 minus 27 
माइनस ट्वेल्व ट्वेंटी फाइव माइनस ट्वेंटी सेवन माइनस टू थर्टी फाइव माइनस ट्वेंटी सेवन एट फोर्टी फाइव माइनस ट्वेंटी सेवन एटीन सो यू हैव गॉट दिस now we will make the we'll make the uh, absolute value of this all we will get the absolute value so it is 22 now it is 12 it is 2 it is 8 it is 18 so now what we have to do we have to multiply this with f f into mod of dx deviation from uh, mean so we have to multiply these to so we will get 110 here 12 uh, 96 15 2 times 30 16 eight times uh, 128 and 18 six times 108 Okay, so we we have got this, and now we will make the summation of this all. One hundred ten plus ninety six plus one hundred thirty plus one twenty eight plus one zero eight. We will get four hundred seventy two. What four hundred seventy two here? So in this formula. we have to put this uh, summation of f into absolute of dx bar and over summation of f so in this formula we put this delta x bar is equal to summation of uh, in this formula we are putting the value 472 over 50 So we get here 9.44, 9.44. So this would be the mean deviation for this sort of data. Uh, this is the group data. Uh, very easy to solve. What we have to do? We have to first of all in group data find out the mid value, then multiply the mid value with frequency. fx summation of fx and summation of f we get through this to mean if we get the mean we get the deviation from mean of whole the uh, mid values 5 minus 27 and 15 minus 27 the mean whatever we have got we deviate uh, we get the deviation from mean of all the data when we get the deviation from mean we make its absolute value we make all positive here and then we multiply these values absolute deviation with frequency so we get the uh, this uh, frequency and uh, absolute values product and then we summate uh, summation of this all we put in this formula and summation of a f we again put in the denominator of this formula we get mean deviation 